What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today, I am working on the second gen Chevy Tahoe Z71. Today, I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit of upgrading on the dash needles. Um, of course, like I said, this is an O2. So, everything is pretty much outdated. But, um, basically, this is real simple. This is the dash. The cluster is out. So, we have four bolts that has to come out. Once those four bolts come out, that plug that you see in front of you, you can unhook that. And then, you know, okay, the dash is out. You can go ahead and start disassembling it. So you can do what you need to do. Um, as I was saying um, in previous videos, a lot of this stuff is self-explanatory. It's real easy. If you have a few tools, a lot of this stuff you can do yourself. You don't have to go and pay a lot of money to have something done. Even if you got it, you know what I mean? You don't have to pay it, you can do it yourself. Um, you know, I can afford to take my vehicle wherever I want, you know, but if I can do it myself and I like working with my hands, then why not do it myself? Um, but it's pretty easy, like I said. Um, so it's already out. To start this process, you're gonna wanna take the vehicle, turn the key to the on position. You wanna pull the gear all the way down to the number one. That way you can take the dash cover or whatever your panel or whatever you wanna call it, you can take that off. That's the only way you're gonna get that off. You gotta pull the stand wheel um, position that all the way down towards your lap as far as you can pull the gear shift down to one and then you can remove that and then once you do that you're going to want to take those four bolts out once those four bolts are removed you have a plug that's on top unhook that the dash is out then you just go ahead and do what you got to do and then reinstall it um, I like to interact with people that watch my videos. I'm probably one of the few YouTubers that interact the way I do with, with viewers. I always try to reply to comments, like comments. Um, and so, if anybody has any questions about this video, if they're trying to do something like this themselves, you know, leave me a comment if you're kind of confused on the video, if I'm not explaining it, you know, um, as deep as I should for certain people, you know, comment below, you know, any questions that you have, and um, I will definitely reply back as soon as I see the comment, I will get back with you on it, try to help you out as best the way I can. Um, another thing I, I just wanted to say is that if you like working with your hands and you have some projects, you know, attack the project. You know what I mean? Go ahead and get with it. Save some money to do something else to your vehicle or whatever you want to save that money and do it. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I just had a little story that I wanted to share with y'all. I really started got, getting into this stuff. Um, I had a 72 dump. It was a vert. Um, I um, I bought it as a project. Um, you know, it was already running. It had a motor in it. It had, it had the stock motor in it or whatnot. A few little upgrades on it. Um, but it had some work that needed to be done. So, I bought the dump. Got a good price on it. Pulled the motor and the trans myself. Um, did the gears myself on it. Um, I did all the body work on it myself. And, um, you know, the car turned out to be a nice car. So, I have a garage. I have tons of tools. 
everything from air tubes to hand tubes. Like I said, I got a two car garage. That's a plenty of space for me to do what I need to do. So, you know, I just try to, you know, learn as much as I can. That way I can, um, that way I can, um, you know, save some money, man, and I can put that money elsewhere, you know what I mean? Wherever I want to do with it besides giving it to the shops. And I'm not knocking the shops because that's how they eat, you know what I mean? But if I can save a dollar, I like to save a dollar, you know what I mean? But sometimes saving a dollar ain't the best way. So if you can do it and save a dollar, go for it. But just don't try your hand if you really don't know what you're doing and allowing it to cost you more in the long run, you know what I mean? Don't try the job, screw it up, have to take it to a shop, and then they wind up charging you double and all of that. So, um, but like I said, a lot of this is self-explanatory, so I'm going to go ahead and get back with it, and um, I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. They say play around with these a little bit when you once you pull it apart and if they move freely then your dash you know everything's pretty much in good shape they said if these things are kind of hard to move around then um, I can't think of the name of the little things but they're in the back of them and um, they are need to be changed and so if they need to be changed then you have to have a little bit of skills with soldering you have to use like um, like um, basically like something like a turkey baster, um, heat it up. You have to suck this solder, old solder off, put, re replace it with with the new with the new product and re-solder it. So that gets a little difficult, but it's not that hard. So, um, but yeah, um, you know we're we're halfway done this. I'm gonna get back with y'all in a minute. Okay, now we got the new needles on. Now these could possibly be the wrong ones the first reason I think it could be wrong because they gave me more needles in the pack than I needed now that could be just giving me an extra one just in case I lost one or broke one um, or you know it could be the wrong ones because they're not going all the way down like the old ones and then again that could be because they are new you know, it's an aftermarket product, but I'm gonna try to make them work if they are willing to cooperate. So I have them on, and um, as you can see, these ones are a little high. But as long as the face cover goes on, I'm gonna see if they work properly, and we're gonna um, we're gonna as long as it works, we're gonna we're gonna put things back together, and we're gonna leave it like that. So stay tuned. We back and they are working so I'm gonna leave it as it is leave the new ones on so I'm about to put it back together show you guys how it looks stay tuned now I have not put the screws back in yet but that's all I gotta do and just put the trim back on but um like I said it doesn't look half bad to me at all. Um, what else was I about to say? Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, just put the screws back on, put it back together, pretty much like you took it apart. Um, you know, that's one way of looking at when you're working on something. However you take it apart, that's pretty much how you put it back together. So, you know, if you can pull it apart, it's simple. I did want to say that this was my first time ever pulling out a, a gauge cluster out of any vehicle um, and like I said this is an O2 so of course it's gonna be a little bit simpler than the newer vehicles I'm guessing 
Um, but yeah, this was pretty simple right here, man. So, you know, if you guys wanted to upgrade your dash, man, it's pretty simple. Just take your time and knock it out. You know, any questions you got, hit me up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead on and um, let you guys see how this thing um, is working. And I'm probably gonna have to pull it back apart again because my tank isn't full. But it's kind of reading that it's full. I was near full. I marked where the hand was at before. So probably gonna have to take it back apart. Cause I want this thing to be as accurate as possible. I don't wanna be thinking that I'm running hot when I'm not. That's my most important thing. I just want to make sure that the truck is running cool like it should. I don't really care about the rest of it. I mean, as long as I'm running cool temperature-wise, I'm good. So I might just pull it back apart real quick while I'm in here just to kind of play with it a little bit and get it back like I need it. But, um, but that's it. That's how you do it. So um, I hope y'all like this video, man. I hope it helps somebody out. If you would, I would uh, really appreciate it if you would uh, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, please turn the bell on so whenever I drop a video, you guys will be notified. And, um, you know, of course, on this channel, I touch on a lot of different things, and there's going to be a lot more good things coming to the channel in the future. So I hope that you guys um, stay tuned, keep riding with me, and, um, you know, just... Uh, Enjoy the video.